So this is about the last place you want to find yourself in this deep freeze by the side of the road, fixing your broken down car. CBS News Mike Puccinelli joins us live now at AAA's Dispatch Center in West Town with some tips to help you stop trouble before it starts. Hi, Mike. Hi, of course, many folks haven't started their cars up in 24, or perhaps 36 hours. So when they go out there, they might find that their locks are frozen and their vehicles simply won't budge. Now, this is a live look at the Dan Ryan Expressway where traffic is pretty light compared to a normal workday. But the people that are venturing out are running into problems, so much so that folks here at AAA are fielding up to get this 400 calls an hour. With the city wrapped in a hazy air mass that is a record-breaking cold front, millions of people have been staying away from the loop. But rush hour traffic was still heavy enough for accidents like this one on the outbound Dan Ryan. And AAA, as you might expect, has been busy due to the polar vortex. Yeah, our calls are up about 150 uh, percent year over year. And this morning alone, calls are up more than 450 percent. The main culprits? Batteries. A battery power gets zapped in this cold weather, uh, so we're seeing a lot of dead batteries. And flat tires. Tire pressure really is affected by this cold weather. And in order to safeguard customers, drivers, and tow truck operators, AAA is only responding to serious emergencies. We really want to help those who are stuck in the elements first. If you're warm and safe in your home, uh, we will get to you, but it may not be today. It's something Alfonso Gray appreciates. Your eyes are tearing up right now. Yeah, it's, it's brutal out here. His fingers were well past numb when we caught up with him, trying to tow away this Jeep from the scene of a three-car wreck. Uh, how much harder is it to do what you normally do? Very hard because the bed moves slow because the hydraulic lines freezes up because of the temperature. The driver of this 4x4 didn't want to go on camera, but he was fortunate enough to be able to wait in the back seat of a warm car. That's why Gray says all drivers should fill up their gas tanks and have a cold weather survival kit. Be prepared. Uh, make sure you carry your blankets. Uh, dress warm. You never know what may happen. And as you can see, the garage here is virtually empty right now. That's because all these drivers are out on calls. If you haven't started your vehicle in a day or so, you should probably try and do so today. Let it run ideally until it warms up. When warm air is coming out of the vents, you should be in good shape. But in temperatures like these, of course, that can take at least 10 minutes, perhaps quite a bit more. Reporting live at AAA Fleet Headquarters, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa?